Hello everyone, happy Friday! So thank you to all of you that firstly entered my competition last week to win all my favourite makeup products. I'll be announcing the winner at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now this video is probably my most requested ever video, but also it's probably going to be the hardest ever to film. I've got no idea how to film it. Like, you should literally see the setup that I've got right now. There's a light hanging on to the tripod there. There's a light there, there's two lights there, and I'm absolutely surrounded by my makeup kit all over the floor. Let me see if I can move this without breaking anything to show you. Can you see all this? Yep, yeah, surrounded by it. But before I start, I wanna show you this behind me. Look at this. So this is like a giant, giant picture Basically, it's from a Matthew Williamson campaign that I did the makeup for, and you'll see it popping up in the background. There he is. And um, the, Matthew's team sent it to me along with two others uh, because obviously the campaign's done with now, so I can keep them. So I'm going to put them up in my house. And luckily, Theo likes them because otherwise, I was like, oh God, can't really hide them, can I? They're ginormous. <laughs> so, the kit I'm going to show you is not my full entire life of makeup because. I think that would take about a week to film. This is my everyday makeup kit that I take to shoots with me. I'm gonna go through it, and I'm not gonna go through it in too much detail because we could, like I say, be here all day, but I'm definitely going to show you all my favorite bits and show you everything that's in the kit in some detail. But for now, let's just get over to the makeup. All right, let's go. Let's start with my actual kit. This is my Zuka, and it's got quite a lot of makeup on it, as you can see, because I've had it for a couple of years now, but I absolutely love it. It's got loads of room and like secret pockets in it, and it comes with these pouches as well. Amazing if you um, do makeup a lot, or you just want really good storage, or if you want a seat on the, the train, because actually, I'll come and sit on it. This is the most amazing seat, so it's great for obviously when you're doing <laughs> your makeup, but actually, it's really good when you're on the train too and you just wanna, you know, get a seat. But it is an investment indeed because I think it's about 250 pounds. Okay, let's start over here. So in this corner, I've got lashes. Now, I've got a selection of lashes here. Um, some are from Boots, these are some of my favourite ones here, they're the Benefit Pinup ones. I've also got some of the Allure ones, the Demi Wispies. I've got my favourite glue, which is the Duo glue. This is brilliant because it comes in white and black, so you can either have it clear, or if you want to have like almost like an eyeliner effect, then use the dark. Always two pairs of tweezers, just because if one is blunt, then I know I've got another pair. Tweezer Man ones, you can actually send them away, and they'll sharpen them for you for free. Two pairs of scissors as well because I can never find them. <laughs> and then my eyelash curlers, a couple of clips. I've always got about five pencil sharpeners in my bag because I do lose them so much. And then obviously, cotton wool, cotton buds. Oh look, some Nurofen, because in case someone's got a headache. And then, are you ready for these? Curly straws. Well, straws in the shape of stars. But basically, like when you do a bright lip, like I've got now, and it does take quite a while to do a really good bright lip. Um, this is just slapped on, but you don't want the model to ruin your hard work, so always carry straws, and I always have curly ones because it just makes people smile. <laughs> Skincare and body stuff. Well, I've got quite a lot of stuff here, and I've got some wipes, which I don't really use unless in case of emergency, quick change around, and I just use the simple ones because they are kind to the skin, as they say. Moisturiser, I love the Total Moisture by Benefit. This is really rich, as you can see. It's got cocoa butter in it, shea butter, mango. It's just like really nourishing and gives you the most amazing glow to the skin whilst also being super hydrating. So it's amazing for the face and for the body. Obviously got trusty old Bioderma there. Can't go wrong with that. Some of the Benefit Hydrating Spray. This here, Chi for Healing Balm. I love this particularly if you've got psoriasis like me. A lot of models have psoriasis as well. This is really amazing to um, help that dryness. We've got the Nude Pro Genius Oil. This is in my skincare video as well. Fab again for hydration, but also to give a really beautiful dewy skin um, as well, dewy look to the skin. Favourite eye cream, Benefits It's Potent. This is so nourishing and beautiful and it just instantly hydrates around the eyes as well. I recommend this to everyone. 
coconut oil. Oh, I love this one because it's by Vita Coco. The reason I love it is because it's really small and it's 100% raw and extra virgin as well. Look, you can literally it here. Eat it, wear it, swear by it. I mean, you literally don't have to say more than that, but amazing, amazing for any dryness. Beautiful for nails, hair, and in sweet potato mash, my fave. <laughs> Sun protection. Right, I've got two things here. I've got the Dream Screen by Benefit. Incredible SPF 45. So, so good because it goes straight into the skin and you can then just apply your makeup. But at the moment, I'm really loving this as well. The Ultra Sun Glimmer. And this is SPF 20, so it's not as high and it is creamier. But I'm going to show you the reason why I love it. So, this is the Glimmer Sun and it is creamy like a normal suntan lotion. But when you've managed to rub it in, it's brilliant because, can you see, it's got glitter in it. I don't know if you can actually see that here, but it's so beautiful and shimmery. And with all the like strobing thing that's going on at the moment, it's amazing on the skin. Yeah, there you go, you can really see it now. A real quick fix to highlighting almost. Actually, I put this on, <laughs> gave it to Theo to borrow and uh, didn't tell him it had shimmer in it. And then he was going around with like glittery face. Um, I told him when we got home, so, you know. <laughs> Talking of tans, fake tan can be a right pain for us makeup artists. So I always have my James Reed Tan Perfecting MSI Peel Mask in my kit because you put this on 10 minutes and it just helps take any of that rubbish fake tan off the stuff that's going to get really patchy. So this is amazing. I wet, use this a lot, actually. You've probably seen me post it on my Instagram because uh, it is fab and I love James as well. So he's such a great guy. Then, oh, one of my faves, Rodal. Dragon's Blood Eye Mask. So, Dragon's Blood. I'm not sure if it comes from real dragons. I don't think it does. But this is amazing because they hydrate and tone and they depuff as well. So you just pop them underneath the eyes. A crazy amazing for Fashion Week because all the models are really tired from um, flying everywhere. Couple of old faves. Now, obviously, eight hour creams in there. So is Vaseline. Um, so is their real remover, which, uh, you know, is brilliant. But I love this. I found this in Sephora um, in America. This is an all over body oil. This smells like you're going to go and have that. Like, you've just had a massage. Just got the oil on the screen. Never good. <laughs> on the lens. It's 100% natural and you can use it all over um, the body, the hands. Amazing if you've got dry hands. Love, 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 love this product. Mwah. On to some nail bits. Um, I always have a few nail bits in there, a few nudes. I've got some nudes because I'm going to be using nudes on my shoot on next this week. Um, also some hair bands because you never know when you're going to need them, you see. See what I mean? Don't know if you can see that. Holding up my light. Good job I had those, hey? Right, found... Foundations. Let's move on to them. I have quite a lot of foundations and concealers here. All-time favourite has to be, honestly, Hello Flawless by Benefit. Love this foundation. I wear it in every single one of my videos. You have seen me use it. It gives you the most beautiful dewy glow and it's not too heavy and it looks incredible on camera. The other one that I really like is the Makeup Forever. HD foundation, particularly for the deeper skin tones. This is beautiful. And what you can see here is I decant my foundations because some of the bottles are glass. And if that breaks in your kit, you're screwed because it will go everywhere with the glass. So I always decant stuff and it means that my kit's less heavy as well. So I've got a few of those makeup forever ones there. Then I've got some powders. And I don't always take powders. I'm not much of a powdery finish kind of girl. I'd usually just use a translucent powder like this one which is the Agent Zero Shine. This is great because it's like a peachy finish. Then I've got the trusty Boing Concealer by Benefit here that comes in five shades. I love this. You can see that number two is the most popular. This is incredible for covering anything. Blemishes, bruises, all sorts. I've actually got a big spot on my chin at the moment from going swimming in lakes. Um, there is a great reason for that. I'm doing like a triathlon in a few weeks. Crazy old me. Um, so I've got those and I've also got these ones here. This is actually a contouring kit by Crown Brush. Um, but I use it for contouring, concealing, everything. And then the Cryolan one there, which has amazing, amazing deep shades. And then the Colour Corrector kit by Makeup Forever. Because things like the orange, um, these ones here take away different things like uh, take away any dark circles, sometimes take down yellow, take down any redness. So use those before you'd use your other concealers. And then I've obviously got a raised paste, which is an old favourite as well. Um, and an Ula Lift 
Ah, oh, I love this product. Okay, highlighters and bronzers. Highlighters first. Okay, here's some of my faves. Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, brilliant underneath your base. Gives you like an instant soft focus beauty flash. So it just gives you a really beautiful finish. I, my absolute fave is Sunbeam and, oh, and Girl Meets Pearl. I love Girl Meets Pearl too. Sunbeam, as you know, I used to just chuck this all over my face. Uh, Girl Meets Pearl is brilliant because it just gives you that really beautiful pinky champagne colour. And then we've got What's Up here too, which is soft focus, so really gorgeous as well. If you go on my Lauren's Instagram page, Lauren underscore benefit, or on our Facebook page, um, you'll see she's just done a bit quick video on how to use that. Then I've got some bronzers and blushes, and again we go over to the Z palette, because Z palettes are so great, I keep everything in here, you can tell which is my favourite, and I've got a few makeup for the bronzers, of course the lip and cheek tints, because you can't not have those, and then the cream blushes as well. This though, is my favourite corner, <gasps> look at it, this is like all glitters and sequins and shimmery stuff, love this bit. These are actually for your nails, but any opportunity that someone gives me to stick these on their face, I will. Now we've had a slight problem, and most makeup artists will find this, and I still haven't found a good solution. In here is glitter, but this is actually a glitter explosion that's just happened. Hold on, look, I'll show you. Full on glitter explosion of all my makeup forever glitters, and it's going to take me ages to clean, but on the positive, it means my hands will be covered in glitter for probably about a week, which is fun. <laughs> then I have some cream blushes. These are all just pencil cases that I keep them in, just from W8 Smiths, actually, for like 50p. Just keeps them all separate. So cream um, eyeshadows, sorry, not blushes, cream eyeshadows. Got uh, some more brighter colours there from Makeup Forever, all the neutrals there from Benefit. Then I have um, some eyeshadows in here. I don't usually take all of these things with me. I just select what I'm doing depending on what the look's going to be. But you should always be prepared. So I always have a bit of everything. This is like the um, Big Beautiful Eyes Kit and the, and the Smoking Eyes Kit decanted. And then these are all the other colours there. <gasps> this. These are face paints. I love face paints so much. When I was little, my mum used to paint my face with face, pa face paints most days. Like, it could be like a Monday and she'd decide that she wants to draw like a lion on my face. So you could say that I was brought up on face paints or with face paints all over my face. So obviously it makes sense to have them and you can mix them and create all different colours with them. They become an amazing pal uh, metallics and they're really, really rich. So I do love a good face paint. Love this kit. This is the uh, Flash colour palette from Makeup Forever. Again, kind of like the face paints. Amaze colours, metallic, it all looks as a sequin stuck in that one just from when I've been like doing something crazy. Beautiful colours, amazing to mix. Brows, well, to be honest, for me, Benefit do own brows. I mean, they've been waxing eyebrows since 1976, which is just before I was born. And I've got here the Browsings, have got all three shades, uh, the other one's somewhere. Gimme Brow, best product like ever invented ever, isn't it? Seriously, let's be honest about this, because it is just so bloody good. Mimics the appearance of hairs, adds fibre, I use on men as well. And then just some brow pencils too. So my whole brow kit is Benefit, because um, they have the best of brows. As on my mascaras, they're real is the number one bloody best selling mascara for a reason and you know it's so good and obviously it comes in black brown and blue now and then the roller lash which is amazing if you want curly lashes or you've got short lashes always i always always have tons and tons it's just a few of them disposable mascara ones because i never use the actual mascara one on my clients or models because that's unhygienic and your eyes are so sensitive so always always have disposables eyeliners god i've got a bigger selection this but tomorrow I'm only going to be using probably black eyeliner so I'm taking the their real push-up liner then I've also got bad girl liner but I've also got this one here which is by Lord and Berry which is like double the length of a normal liner which is really good because then it never runs out so I do like that one too on to lips Doo -doo -doo. these are my lip palettes look at them oh I love them so much 
So I don't carry any lipsticks around me. I decanter them all into these little pots that are just from Muji. I wrote on them here. So pinks and purple lipsticks. Um, and don't melt them. I know it's tempting because we've probably seen videos where people melt their lipsticks into pots like this. No, 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 no. Don't do that because it will just make all the oil rise to the top. And actually you'll lose the pigment of the lipstick and you won't get the true colour. So make sure that you just literally smash them in just like this, which I know is a bit hard to do if you've got OCD or don't, if you like things really, really, really neat, but I actually really like them like this when they look cool. So I've got like those and I've got like reds. I've actually just been mixing some colors up. So I've been mixing them in the lids. I've got the nudes, I've got lords, lords going on. I definitely don't need all these lipsticks, but can we just talk about this gold? I don't even know where that's from, but it's literally amazing. Glosses. I love all these benefit ones. They're great because they're not sticky. But I also love... Oh, pull them out, shall we? Why not? These are the Makeup Forever. These ones here. Love these lip glosses. Now, these are great because they're really, 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 really high shine. Now, I'll really think about what gloss I'm going to be using depending on what the hair's like and also depending on if we're going to have, like, a wind machine or something, which can happen. Or if I'm working with a lot of my fave hairdressers like David, Louis, Gareth, they tend to just, like, you know, fan the hair with anything they can find. So I don't want their wonderful hair um, to get stuck in the gloss so i do really think about that very considerate me then onto some brushes um you've probably seen my five makeup brushes that you uh only need video i hope you have anyway um but this is some of my brushes and my beauty blender then i have some brush cleaner i really like this one from sephora because uh, it dries really quickly and i have a big one and a baby one and i just top the baby one up with the big one for my kit and then i have like a little sponge like beauty pad um, just to put underneath eyes if I'm doing something really powdery. I don't use that that much actually. I know loads of makeup artists do use them loads, but I just have them just in case. So, little whiz round again. That is the kind of a kit that I carry around every single day. It's very heavy. And actually, something really weird. I just had a knock at the door because I'd ordered something else for my kit. And it's literally just arrived now as I'm filming it. So let me get it, I'm very excited. I now also have the Zuka Rucksack. How cool am I? Um, the reason is, is because I get quite a bad back um, and this means that I can lighten up my main kit, which although it's got wheels, it is heavy for when you have to carry it down the tube. Um, so now I can have a rucksack on the back too, but also for when I'm traveling, I can just take this and minimize my kit. So I now have like a Zuka family. So that's very, very exciting for me. Theo's just made me a coffee in my cup, which has Snoopy on it. Look at that, how cute. Mm. Always oh, a good one. So I'm now going to announce the winner of my competition. Are you ready? Thank you to everyone that entered. This person is going to win all my favourite products. This is honestly from complete random, from my full list of subscribers and from my um, Instagram followers. And the winner is... Here we go. It's going to be backwards. Kimmy Fierce, that's right, Kimmy Fierce, hoping that is your real name as well, because that's quite a cool name. Kimmy Fierce, you are the winner of my competition, woohoo, congratulations. Um, I'm going to follow you on Instagram, just give me a little message with your address and I will get all the products out to you. So thank you again always and everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one because it was quite a hard one to film. I've now got to edit it, so I'm hoping it's going to actually look okay. <laughs> uh, anything that you want me to film, just let me know down below uh, in the comments. And if you don't subscribe already, then subscribe. What are you waiting for? Come on. See you next Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.